Well, thank you for her uh, interview, having me in such a nice place and for our interview. We are striving for the united and independent Jammu and Kashmir. I belong to a political party and I am the Secretary of Information of United Kashmir People's National Party. And it is very unfortunate that we belong to a historical state of Jammu and Kashmir and which came into being existence on 16th of March 1846 and our Maharaja Gulab Singh has signed a accord with British. So we belong to a historical state of Jammu and Kashmir but unfortunately when Britishers has decided to divide the subcontinent on the religion basis, then our Maharaja Harry Singh has signed a standstill agreement with Pakistan and certainly a request of standstill agreement with India. But unfortunately, due to attack from Pakistan on 22nd of October 1947 over state has been divided and we are living under different administration Indian administration Pakistani administration and Chinese as well so what we want we want a united and independent Jammu and Kashmir and we are striving for the unification of all Jammu and Kashmir. And uh, as un the un European Union had formulate, has formulated done policy on Jammu and Kashmir, and we request the EU to implement that report and resolution in its true spirit. We are expecting from international community uh, to support us for the reunification of whole Jammu and Kashmir. The European Union can use soft power to unify whole Jammu and Kashmir. And even as we have seen, the European Union in his resolutions which have been passed by majority of the European member of the parliament focus on okay if the Kashmir if the Jammu and Kashmir is not united yet but you have to resolve and you have to take care of the immediate uh, needs of the people you have to respect the human rights either it's Pakistan or it's China so until and unless what we are expecting from the world community, from United Nations or international organizations, they must link up the international pledges and trade agreements the hum regarding human rights situation of the people of Jammu and Kashmir, particularly living in Galkit Baldistan and Azad Kashmir and China as well. As a Democrat, I respect the European resolution regarding 2022nd <coughs> Olympic boycott because whenever the European member countries send their representatives to the European Parliament, so they have given the member of the European Parliament a mandate for the legislation, for the resolutions and for the foreign policy, for the internal policy. As a democrat, if a democratic institution has taken a decision and made a resolution regarding a certain boycott, it means we have to respect the collective wisdom of the people of 
United European Union, and we have to respect the collective and uh, will of the people of Europe. So, in my point of view, Europe must boycott this 2022nd Olympic and give a loud and clear message to Beijing: S stop human rights violation, S stop committing crimes. You have to ensure the religious freedom. You must ensure the freedom of speech. You must ensure the freedom of expression and release all people who have been in concentration camps. So, what I am I expecting from the Europe or from, from China, the, the people who are enjoying the fundamental freedoms in Europe, same is the case, the people who are living under China, they must have a given right to the enjoy the fundamental freedoms. And for that, Europe must boycott the EU 2022nd European Olympics. Because that is very loud and clear message to Chinese Communist Party and the all policy makers to stop them for human rights violation. There is no other option left because when United States boycott the Olympic in Russia in 1980s, when Russia invaded the Afghanistan, that works. Simultaneously, this will also work. This is a soft message that you must respect the human rights, you must in respect the international obligations and you must respect the uh, all the human charters whether it's uh, European conventions or UN chartered or human rights declaration. China must respect the human rights declaration and human rights charter and fulfill all international obligations. Thanks for such a nice question. As a nationalist of Jammu and Kashmir, I believe that the Jammu and Kashmir belongs to the people of Jammu and Kashmir and their national natural resources also belongs to Jammu and Kashmir. No one have right to exploit exploit that natural resources and I think the, the they are building the mega dams in the disputed territory of Jammu and Kashmir. They are disturbing the natural flow of the rivers and when you are disturbing the natural flow of the rivers definitely it creates a problem for the human being, for the animal and for the environment. And through this interview, I want to highlight this issue, do not divert over rivers. Rivers are very important for us. Water are very important. Water is very important for us. So do not divert the issue uh, rivers because you are just generating the electricity from that water. You are building mega dams, but you are ignoring other aspect of life, and that is very much for important for us because uh, we have shortage of water. The people who are living on mountains, they do not have a water. And you have destroyed our culture and you have destroyed our environment. As far as concern China-Pakistan economic corridor, legally China cannot build 
a mega project without the consent of local people or without giving ownership on our resources to the local people and you must allocate some budget for the environment because when the glacier are going to melt in future it disturbed the ecosystem it disturbed the environment so weather conditions will be changed and and it is disastrous for whole world thank you very much for your contribution and answering to all our questions you are welcome